Saying 2021 was a good year for Ghost is an understatement, and since my review in September, they have released many new features, and this video is a quick summary of those. So you might want to watch this video until the end to learn why Ghost is scary good. And no, you don't need to be a developer to use Ghost, that's a myth. This video will be divided into two sections, the first updates about the site and the second about the editor. So let's start with the most noticeable updates on the site, and they are membership tiers, offers, sending posts without publishing and sending newsletter based on tags. But what are membership tiers? Membership tiers in Ghost work similar to what Patreon has. Enabling tiers allows your biggest fans to gain access to more content while supporting you even more financially. For example, your lowest subscription tier can remove ads while the highest can access all paid articles. And as you might know, you can decide the access level to each post on your site. This means posts can be available for everyone, members or paid members only. Next are the offers, and this allows you to create discounts on your ghost website, which is helpful for holiday sales. To use it, go to offers on the sidebar and click create a new offer. This can be valid on the first payment over several months or forever while the subscription is active. This reduces the need to use a third party platform to create discounts on your ghost website. Next on the list is sending posts without publishing, and this was the most significant update from the last quarter of 2021. Why? This alone allows you to replace MailChimp or ConvertKit with Ghost. And I have written an article about using Ghost as an email service provider that you can find the link on the description. So imagine you have a blog like mine where you post articles but sending those as a newsletter doesn't make sense. There's where this feature comes in handy. Now you can post articles as usual but you can create a proper newsletter to send without appearing in the website feed. That's right. Posts can be email only and hidden from the website visitors if you want. This will give you more freedom to write a newsletter without worrying about SEO among other factors. And speaking of newsletters, you can decide the recipients based on tags. So if you write about several topics, you can categorize users based on their interests, thus making the newsletter more relevant to each one. Again, this is another feature to make Ghost better as an email service provider. Now, let's see what changed in the editor. As you can see on the screen, there were several releases, like file downloads, audio files, GIFs, toggles and new callout styles. But I would like to highlight headers, buttons and product cards because they are game-changing additions. Headers will offer you the possibility of breaking down the post with more colors and space. Next we have buttons. They were a nuisance before version 4.25 because you had to use HTML and CSS, so you had to know code or watch tutorials like the one I have on this channel. But now, creating a button is as easy as in Substack. And most of us use buttons a lot, so this will save you time when creating calls to action. Lastly, we have product cards. The product card includes a name, description, product image, star rating and a button. And if you are someone that does review articles, this fits like a glove. I expect people to have higher click rates and eventually make more money because of this. As a footnote, I would like to mention that Ghost started to support Grammarly in the editor for quite some time, and this was a previous complaint from users, so that's a nice addition. Summarizing, Ghost CMS changed a lot in 2021, becoming better and cheaper in the process. They are maturing while maintaining the focus on content publishing for creators. They don't have the massive reputation of other platforms like WordPress or Substack, but they are a great option, especially for those looking for a Substack alternative. That's right. Ghost is a natural progression for someone graduating from using Substack. So don't sleep on them for your blog, newsletter or podcast website. This video was a quick roundup of updates from the last months in the Ghost world. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot and gives motivation to create more videos. This is the Stack Junction YouTube channel and thank you for watching until the end.